This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. Has the first new fall show been canceled yet? From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. You can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife to Read Comics on iTunes, or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. Now, we're going to wrap up our review of the new fall TV shows this episode. We, we promise. promise. All right. Thursday night, new network shows. Welcome to the family, NBC. It's about these families of a teen mom. They get together. It sounds incredibly generic. Oh, but but the twist is, is that the father of the baby is uh, Hispanic. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> Culture clashes. I'm like, eh. Yeah, whatever. I think this is so generic that it might work. But it might also be like that um, horrible uh, thing with the clashing culture families last year. Also, also involving a pregnancy. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. So. All right. Uh, the Millers, CBS. Not meet the Millers. No, the Millers. No. no, no. This is Will Arnett, of course, coming out of Arrested Development and Up All Night. Although he wants you to forget that. Yes. <laughs> He's a divorced man, and his mom moves in. See, again, this is a whole trend here of the parents moving in. Yes. Wackiness ensues. Greg Garcia, the producer of My Name is Earl, is involved. Um, I am i don't know. Well, I'll give it a shot because it's Will Arnett, but... Mm-hmm. But, yeah. Yeah, it sounds very broad. Yeah. Once Upon a Time in Wonderland, ABC. So, of course, it's a spinoff of Once Upon a Time. Once Upon a Time, yeah. A, the interesting thing here, this is a single season storyline. They said there won't be a second season. So there won't be a second season of Once Upon a Time in Wonderland. Right. But I'm not I'm not seeing any closing the door on Once Upon a Time in Oz right. or Once Upon a Time I'm in... Neverland or yeah. Once Upon a Time... Yeah. Right. So th- these are almost like miniseries. Yes. <laughs> in, in, the, in the comic book sense in that it's a... It's a one storyline told over this set, and it's and it's limited. So mm-hmm. we'll see. The Crazy Ones on CBS. Robin Williams and Michelle uh, Sarah Michelle Geller return to TV. Mork and Buffy. Yeah. Uh, it's a David E. Kelly sitcom. I would love to see this show with anyone other than Robin Williams. <laughs> uh, you know, I loved Mork and Mindy. Mm-hmm. But it just seemed like Robin Williams took way too many drugs and is just way off the wall now. You right. never see him do anything other than this single character that right. he has. Yeah, exactly. And I don't like that character. Yeah. It's like when Martin Short is on a series. It oh. kind of it kind of oh. kills it for me. Yeah. Uh, and maybe he won't be that way, but I can't see them reining him in. No. You know, because he's Robin Williams. Exactly. Sean Saves the World, NBC. I just have one question. Why does NBC think that Sean Hayes is funny? Well, you know, this is just like I was just talking about with Robin Williams. (laughs) Yes. Oh, everybody loves Sean Hayes. He can only play the one character. And it's just too much. Yeah. Uh, It's about a divorced gay gay dad with a teenage daughter. So he just throw the gay piece in there. But otherwise, it's fairly generic. Yeah. The Michael J. Fox Show on NBC. So this is his first regular series role since Spin City. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a sitcom about a local newsman returning to TV. Parkinson's will be part of the storyline. Right. And they already have a full season order in place. Apparently that was the only way he would agree to do this was, mm-hmm. you know, I'm not going to do get this whole thing together to do two episodes and get canceled. Now... They have a full season order in place. That right. means they're going to get paid to make the full season. Right. But that doesn't necessarily mean they'll show the full doesn't season. Doesn't necessarily. I mean, they would burn it. They could burn it off. They could burn point. it off. I don't expect that no. it's going to be bad. No, not at all. Not at um, all. But you never know what it might. You know, they might switch over the schedule, and it might be up against something that's hugely popular, and it mm-hmm. gets lost. I mean, that's yeah. certainly possible. Rain on C- on the CW. Not R A I N. Yes. R E I G N. Yes. It's Mary Queen of Scots, the teen romance show. I'm guessing historical accuracy will be at a minimum. <laughs> I'm guessing, yes. Well, I think they've already said that, you know, it's it's really going to be, you know, CW in, yeah. in Elizabethan times. You right. Know, so. right. 
Plus, we have the Big Bang Theory on CBS. Leonard returns from the sea. Uh-huh. We'll see what happens there. We have Scandal. Ooh, and there's some juicy stuff coming up on, on ABC, that. yeah. Because, you know, now everybody knows about the affair between Olivia and the president. Right. Ooh. Ooh. And the secret bad guy is really Olivia's father. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that'll be pretty good. I'm looking forward to that one. <laughs> uh, Parks and Rec on NBC. Uh, so now everybody, at least in town, hates Leslie Nope. Recall Leslie. Yeah. <laughs> From her city yeah. council job. That will be interesting. Yeah. We'll see what happens there. Right. And then Grey's Anatomy. Yes, which is another one of those soap opera shows that we love to watch. Mm -hmm. And uh, on that one, they're, they're actually starting... From exactly where the finale left off last okay. season, which is different. Every other season I've watched, they've kind of done kind of a time jump. Yeah, three months later, so, six months later, yeah, whatever. Mm -hmm. On Friday night, so there are in terms of the new network shows, we have Master Chef Junior on Fox. So kids cooking and then critiqued by Gordon Ramsay. I smell a lawsuit. <laughs> uh, you know, you can't imagine he's really going to be that mean to little kids. <laughs> we also have Dracula on NBC, based, I'm sure, very loosely on Bram Stoker's book. Yeah. I think NBC is about five years You're, late yeah. for the whole the whole vampire thing. Yeah. You missed the boat. It's way gone. Yeah. You also have Enlisted on Fox. It's a military comedy. Beetle Bailey. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But, so uh, uh, consider that, at least, in, again, in Entertainment Weekly, they list uh, a Sleepy Hollow encore in the slot where this is supposed to be on. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> They've already written off the show. <laughs> <sighs> and then we have The Neighbors. Uh, show I enjoyed watching while it was on, and then you you watched I've, it over I've the summer. I've been watching it over the summer. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty good. It's kind of cute. Yeah, and then Grimm, mm -hmm. also, and then on Saturday, cricket, sure, sure. <laughs> Anyone? Bueller. Uh, pretty much everybody's given up this night. I don't understand why. I mean, the, are the argument is always, well, everybody's out doing things. They're out doing things because there's nothing to watch on TV. <laughs> hey, it's okay. You know, that's the night you put the, the cassette and the VCR. <laughs> well, yeah, well, <laughs> or you turn on Netflix, one of yeah. those. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, so, um, another thing that you can do on a Saturday night is listen to our audio podcast. Yes. I got my wife to read comics on iTunes or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. Thanks for watching. Bye. Enjoy TV. Ha, <laughs> ha,